Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have here an X-Tool IP608 that I've been sent. So I've got the tool here out of the box. Let's open the box up so I can show you what's inside. We've got a quick start guide. And a packaging list, so that's what you get inside there. USB cable. OBD cable, the tablet, and the chargers, and different chargers for different regions basically. So in here we've got the cables, USB cable, and the plug adapters there. So I've already got the OBD cable attached to the unit. So let's go and get it plugged into a vehicle, and we'll have a little look through it. Okay, so I've got a vehicle here, we'll get it plugged in. Okay, so I've not used this before, this is going to be my first time using it, but we have a diagnose button here in the middle. Let's go into that. Um, let's go back. I did try plugging it into the van there, but I thought I'd use it on the car instead because it's going to be a bit better. We're going to have more features on the car than we would on the commercial van. Um, Volvo... Need to look for have we got a automatic scan system? Oh there, auto scan. Okay, so yeah, we have a Volvo twenty nineteen. Let's do automatic scan. Just gonna run through everything. So we're on 16 of 48 different modules there, is it? It's, it's gone through. So we're just waiting for that to go through. There's a lot of modules there, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, so we're just about finished. So we have normal DTC's failure. I take it that means we have an issue in here. Read the trouble code. Supervision software failure. I'm not sure what that even means. Let's go back. DTC report. So we've got all of the different DTCs. Battery backup. Some sort of electronical issues going on there. Don't want to exit. Let's go into the engine control module. So we don't have any anything else here except for clear and the live data. Read the codes, clear the codes, live data. So let's start the engine up and just have a look at the live data, see what that, how that looks like. Intake air temperature sensor. Let's slide down through the list. We've got 56 different items there, I think. screen is slightly small, I think, for the size of the machine. It's a 5-inch screen. So let's exit that and see what some of the more special items that we can do. Let's go back. Special function. TPMS reset. It's not something I've ever used. I don't have a tyre machine. Steering angle sensor. Oil resets. For all of these brands. So we oh, will run Australia, America, Europe. Australia and China. Battery monitoring, injector coding. I know that's a question I get asked a lot when I when I show um, a diagnostic machine. Can I do injector coding? So, of course, it's it's all going to depend on what car you plug it into. 
DPF. Uh, we don't have a. Oh yeah, there we go. Sorry, Europe. We have Volvo there. Automatic detection. Okay. Engine type. Uh, we've got two different modules. That one. Read. No trouble code. We don't want to read it. We want to see if we can set off uh, forced regen. Special functions not supported by this car. So I take it it's probably not DIPE or can FD supported. But we'll confirm that in a minute. Updates. So you can update it there. I haven't activated the machine yet, so no, we're not going to do that. Remote control. So you can set that up for uh, remote uh, diagnostics. Back home. Settings, reports. So the reports of whatever vehicles you've plugged it into. Got the Volvo there. Of course you can record and play back your live data. More. Next to a user manual. So this is currently the unit here I'm looking at on Amazon. I'll put this link in the video description. So you get an all systems diagnostic, 30 services. It runs on Android 10 and it's got free updates for life. So very good for a DIY user. Um, all systems it does say it supports can fd free life updates one click update with wi-fi five inch touch screen all systems diagnostics 30 service functions eight in one graphing and 30 hot functions so just come back into the live data there and got the graph up. So it looks like that's about all we've we can go through on it really. Diagnostic scan tool I'd say it's pretty pretty handy for a DIYer. And for those of you who have stuck around, if you would like this tool, I am willing to give it away to one of my commenters on here. Just mention if you want it and I will get it posted out to one of the lucky uh, people. I'm going to just pick someone at random. All I will ask is that it's UK postage only so I will only post it to somebody within the UK. Okay, so we're all finished on the X tool. See you on the next video.